Well, the city of Newburgh and a housing agency say they are trying to figure out what is causing a sudden infestation of giant rats at an apartment building in the city. News 12's Ben Nandy has more on what's going on and why a family of eight might leave the area for good. As I heard some snap and then I saw his head was stuck in the rat trap. The Patterson girls tell me they are prepared to leave town if they have to, as long as they don't have to deal with the rat problem at their Newburgh apartment. I just want to take this as a good opportunity to, like, you know, get out of this place. This is called pre-cooking. The family of eight is staying at this nearby hotel while the housing agency, Rubco, who manages the South Street property, examines the problem. Mother Natasha says they had spotted rats over the past couple months. Rupco helped trap some, and then this past Sunday, there were just too many to trap. I've been just crying every night because my kids, like nobody wants their kids to go through that. If you got kids, you want your kids running around saying rats are running around your house. The mayor and the director of Rupco tell me they are throwing everything they have at this problem. They're starting by digging up the foundation along the side of the house to see if they can find what the core reason for this is. Rupco calls this an extraordinary event and that the nonprofit is working with the city of Newburgh to rat proof this building. Mayor Torrance Harvey says this could be caused by sewer cleaning or nearby construction. I'm suspecting hopefully that property and also the adjacent properties uh, and working with Repco to remediate that, that you know, horrific, you know, circumstance. Repco is paying for the Patterson's hotel stay. The agency's director says they plan to have this resolved in two weeks and they are prepared to pay for the Patterson's stay for longer if necessary. The Pattersons are skeptical. They're considering taking their federal housing voucher and leaving the Hudson Valley, maybe even leaving the state. That would mean the girls would have to go to school somewhere else. They tell me they are prepared to do that. Ben Nandy, News 12.